well, well, well and well. <laughs> Some rotten noises going on out here. But never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm here today to talk about this. This is the Aero Commander. Aero? Aero? I don't know. Whatever it is. The Aero Commander Carbon Gloss Red Dual Sport Helmet. So let's get a start. What can we tell you about it? First of all, as you can see, it's peaked, it's dual sport, um, pin lock ready as you would expect, weighs 1510 grams plus or minus, depending on whether it's bigger or littler or whatever it happens to be. Um, has everything you would expect of a dual sport helmet, but let me just run you through how it all works. Start at the front, good place to start. Air input, three detents, that's closed. Halfway open, fully open, dead easy to find as well with gloved hands, believe it or not. Uh, works very easily using that little holy thing there. Um, the peak is a removable peak, so if you were to take this camera mount that I put in off, as you can see, there's a little bolt here that comes out, same either side under these black covers, and bingo bango bongo, the peak comes off. Um, one of the bits I don't like about the visor is this bit here. That's really going to annoy me, that, that, and I'm hoping you're not getting it. Um, it's a screw. There is no quick release for this. It's a screw, and you get in the box a little plate that will go over there when you've taken the visor off in order to use goggles. <sighs> There's a bit inside me that says, why would you? But people do. Um, did I mention the sun visor? It has a sun visor which as you can see comes down at a rate of knots. The lever for it is here on the side, it's quite small, sometimes difficult to find, and it comes down with a bit of a let's put it back, it comes down with a bit of a clatter um, and has on occasion, and because you can see how far down it is, it has hit me on the nose, which is fine, at least you know it's down. It does work very well though, it's quite dark. Um, yeah. Now Interior wise, first off, D-ring fastening. Um, I never used to like that, but I do. It's quite easy to do, and there's enough slack in the uh, in the straps to be able to make it work quite nicely. As per usual, everything comes out in order to uh, wash and so on and so forth, and it's dead easy to get out. The unusual bit is the the linings actually sit around the EPS in this bottom part, in the cheek part down here. Um, but they come off easy enough, they'll wash easy enough, they go back in very very easily there's no other way you can get them in than the way they go in so that's good. Um, I wrote claim that this is set up for comms and it is, there's a little uh, area here so that you can put your wiring through there if it'll fit through there, I tried mine didn't. I've set it up for the uh, Cardo Pack Talk Bolt, I haven't put the speakers in because I'm using the in-ear monitors that came from Custom Fit Guards um, and they're working very well with it. Now the big question is, is it noisy? When I bought this from Custom Lids um, at the Tame Valley Trading Estate, Kev said he thought his was a little bit noisy. Um, I'm not finding it that way, it's actually as quiet as any other helmet that I've worn and indeed if you listen to the audio from the last couple of videos you'll hear that it's quite quiet. The audio quality is very good, which means there's not a lot getting in. The, the historic market town of Enoch in the North Adbrild and there's some fabulous properties around here, mind. And of course, the House of Hardy, where inexpensive fishing rods and reels. I think that's to do with the chin vent. Now, this does not come attached out of the box you've got to put it in and it is in fact an easy fit as you can see it slots in but it stays in very well um, slots in stays in it's difficult to pull out I've not managed to pull it out while I've been putting the helmet on uh, which <laughs> you cannot really complain about um, and because of the way this visor works there's detents there's one two not that that one's much use three and then 
there's a fourth detent there which allows air in before you get to locked like that and it's 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 pretty quiet with it all locked down um, I've had no issues with that the one issue I have had is here when it's right up on its last detent actually getting it down can be a bit of a clot you end up pulling on the the visor the peak instead of being able to just sort of get it and pull it down so mine tends to sit on that detent which is fine and then down you go and lock it's all good um, in use it feels light on the head even loaded up with cameras and a battery in the top oh yes the battery in the top let me tell you about that this is the camera mount well this is the camera mount this is where it slots in and rather than screwing it's a clipping job so that's it and I've got this plastic Veltro uh, stuff on just to uh, attach a battery or anything else I want up there I don't put a camera up there because I think it looks daft and I'm not that keen on the view that it gives but that's solid it fits in solid it's not going anywhere so if you want to mount a camera on the top and be a telly tubby that's where it would go um, like I say I put a flat white battery on there and then I keep my fingers crossed nobody notices because you don't want to look too much of an idiot do you um, so yeah even with everything fastened and on I've done about 500 miles now with this helmet and it's caused me no issues I really rather like it it's light it's easy on easy off easy fastened the uh, that armature that lever call it what you want is a bit on the rough side I have to say um, but outside of that it's fine like I said I don't like the fact that you've got to use an allen key to get the visor off but then I'm not going to change my visor on a day-to-day -day basis so that's probably not a problem however there is one thing that I'm, I'm undecided about and that's here that's the air intake that goes alongside these outlet holes here that are on both sides it's not a massively long um, route but as hot air rises it should get rid of hot air for you however it's not adjustable it's not closable offable it's open all the time and I don't know how that's going to work out in the colder weather um, that remains to be seen and I'll come back to you on that one um, what I will say is this has been filmed on the last day of September I've ridden it through September uh, which has been as you know some warm days some not so warm days and I've not had any, had any discomfort with it I've not had any sweating with it I've not been cold in it so from that perspective it seems to be doing what it says on the tin um, I, I've, I've not yet had a crash in it and I've got no intention of having a crash in it why the hell would you so I don't know how well it'll protect in those terms what I do know is the EPS looks good it looks solid as it should do the uh, the shell itself is not bending and flexing in places it shouldn't and that's more than we said for some helmets that we've looked at lately um, yeah it's list price is just under 300 quid I'm sure there are bargains to be had I'm sure if you negotiate you can get that down to the 250 I paid and I should say I have paid for this with my own money this is not a sponsored review um, and they didn't send it for, for free for me to try out more's the pity because uh, I do love the colours so after 500 miles yes I'm happy with it um, I'm quite happy wearing it uh, for day to day riding um, it's doing the job I ask of it it's comfortable uh, it's quiet enough and it's doing what I want of it so there's not much more that you can say than that um, I hope you found this review overview to have been of use I hope it helps you in your buying decisions should you be making any uh, if you've enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up that's always good uh, and subscribe if you haven't already and can I say a big thank you to my subscribers thus far we're very very close to being at the thousand get your friends told share it around the place um, yeah um, so yes uh, like I say subscribe share thumbs up uh, tell all your friends all of that kind of stuff thank you so much for watching I've been Dave I am a fat lad and I ride a bike until I see you next time stay lucky take care Bye-bye.